Hello everyone and welcome to my EDMU 525-5E lesson plan presentation. My name is Summer Tobias and today I'll be taking you through the explain phase of one of my lesson plans for my mini unit on celestial patterns. This presentation is designed for second grade students and addresses the next generation science standards disciplinary core idea of Earth and Space Sciences 1A, the universe and its stars. It states, patterns of the motion of the sun, moon, and stars in the sky can be observed, described, and predicted. Okay class, so earlier today we talked about patterns, what makes a pattern, and we even looked at some patterns in the sky. We made some observations of the sun's position and movement in the sky throughout the day, just like we see in this photo. Can anyone tell me what makes a pattern? That's right, John. A pattern is something that happens over and over again. Do we see any patterns in the sky other than the sun? Thank you, Amanda. Yes, the moon's movement also occurs in a pattern. Patterns can be made of numbers, shapes, or even events that happen in nature, such as in the sky. Let's take a look further to learn some key vocabulary and look at various patterns in the sky. I want you to think about all the patterns that you see in this video. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Did you notice that pattern? Well, I'm Dr. Jeff, and today on 3, 2, Wonder, we'll explore patterns in the sky. Here we go. Today, we'll learn that the sun rises in one part of the sky and sets in another part. That the moon and stars also rise in one part of the sky and set in another part. These movements are patterns because they repeat each day. Three, two, one, two! Good morning, Dr. Jeff. Hi, Addison. Hi, EJ. How's it going? It's the morning already. The sun is already up, just like it is every morning. And you did say to meet you here bright and early. So we're here and we're ready to learn about the patterns in the sky. Well, great. It's time to head into our imagination. Follow me. <laughs> Here we go. In three, three two, one, Our imaginations are amazing. I bet we can observe all kinds of cool patterns here. Yep, any pattern we can imagine. But first, let's talk about what a pattern is. A pattern is when something repeats the same way over and over again. Because it repeats the same way, you can predict what happens next. That's right. It lets you predict the future. Watch this. Whoa, a blue triangle. And a yellow one. And another blue one. And a yellow one again. It's, it's a, a pattern. pattern! Patterns repeat in the same order again and again. And when we see patterns, we can predict what will come next. Let me try. I predict that the next triangle will be a blue one. Cool! I predict the next shape will be a yellow one. Excellent! Once we know what the pattern is, we can tell what will come next. That's right. Now, Addison, what was it you said back at the lab about the sun? I said the sun is up just like it is every morning. That sounds like a pattern. Let's learn more about them using more of our imagination. Whoa! Whoa. 
Let's observe this pattern. Every day, the sun rises in one spot and starts moving across the sky from east to west. The sun is highest in the middle of the day. That's lunchtime for me. Yum! The sun gets lower in the afternoon. Then it sets in the west at night. That's when we go to sleep. <laughs> I think you're right, EJ. <laughs> And the next day, the sun comes back up again in the morning. The sun moves across the sky in a pattern. Yesterday, the sun moved from east to west. And today, it came up again, just like before. So, can we predict that it will follow the same path as yesterday? We can. Because it's a pattern, we can make predictions from what we observe. I predict that the sun will set. I predict that it will rise again in the morning. It's, it's like, like knowing, knowing the, the future. future. Here in our imaginations, the pattern of the sun moving across the sky happens fast. But in real life, it takes a full day. Observing patterns helps us know what's going to happen next. patterns we can see in the sky at night? Well, sure. After the sun goes down, it gets dark. And we can see that, just like the sun, the moon moves across the sky in a pattern. The moon comes up in one place and moves across the sky. And then it sets in another place. It does it again every night. So, just like with the sun, we can predict how it will move each time. So if it rises in the east and sets in the west, then the next day it will follow the same pattern. That's right. The sun and the moon both follow the same pattern. It looks like the stars do too, but only at night. Well, stars are always out there. There's enough stars to fill the whole sky. They're always up there. So why can't we see them in the daytime? We can't see most stars in the daytime because the sun is just too bright. It lights up everything around us and makes it hard to see the stars. But different stars are still out there, even during the day? Yep. We can see a whole bunch of stars with our eyes at night. And a telescope can magnify things that are far away so we can see them. Let's see how stars look through our telescope. Whoa! There are so many! And in our imaginations, our telescope can magnify things even more than a real one. And what do you think we would see? If we watch these stars all night. They move across the sky in a pattern, too. You got it. Stars move across the sky really slowly. You may not have noticed before. So the sun, the moon, and the stars are all things we can observe moving across the sky. They move in the same way every day. And from these patterns, we can predict how they'll move tomorrow. We sure can. Now it's time to do it yourself. All right, class, we're going to stop right there because we are going to be doing that activity later on today. So let's recap some of our key vocabulary. Pattern. A pattern is something that happens the same way more than once. It repeats. The pattern we observed today was of the sun. This photo is actually the sun's movement at the North Pole. See it's pattern going up and down. What are some other patterns you noticed in the video? That's right Alan, the sun rising and setting each day and night is a pattern because it repeats. How does observing a pattern help us? Thank you Sally. Yes, observing patterns helps us know or predict what will happen next. As you know, the sun is the bright object that lights up our daytime sky. 
It is a star and it's located at the very center of our solar system. The sun is always shining, even at night when we can't see it. The sun does not spin around us. Instead, the earth rotates. So nighttime is when the sun is shining on the other side of the earth. The pretty pattern in this photo is the movement of the sun seen from Alaska. The tiny dots of light that we see in the sky at night are stars, and they appear to be so tiny because they are so far away. But if you were up close to them, they would actually look like a giant burning ball. Stars are always shining too, even when we can't see them. We can't see them during the day because their light is so much fainter than the light from the sun. When the sun goes down at night, we can see the faint light from all the other stars. A star is a body of hot gases that makes its own light and heat. Stars move in an observable pattern just like the sun. Some of you may know about constellations, which are star patterns we can see in the sky at night. The large round object in the night sky that is sometimes visible during the day is the moon. It is actually a large natural object that orbits or travels around the earth. Like the sun and the stars, the moon moves in a pattern as well. The moon is the second brightest object in the sky that we can see from Earth. The phases of the moon are also a pattern. We recorded the position of the sun in our observations earlier today. Remember that a position is where something is located. As the sun changes position throughout the day, your shadow does too. Here is a fun project similar to what we did today and what we're going to do later today, but instead of recording the sun's position, these students recorded their shadow's position. Okay, I want you to think about the patterns you observed today, outside and also in the video, and then turn to your partner and describe your observations. Go ahead and think back to what we did today. Okay, now turn to your pair share partner and discuss what you observed. All right, one, two, three, eyes on me. Okay, who would like to share the patterns you observed today? Thank you, Timmy. That's right, Timmy. The sun traveled in a pattern through the sky and moved to different positions throughout the day. It repeats this process or pattern every day. Very good, Mark. The moon travels through the sky in the same pattern every night. Predict means to guess that something might happen in the future. We can even predict meteor showers and comets that fly by Earth, like Halley's Comet, the most famous comet shown here in the photo. Halley's Comet flies by Earth every 75 years, and the next time it will pass Earth will be in 2061. What can you predict will happen tomorrow? based on your observations of the sun's movements today. Good prediction, Susie. The sun follows the same pattern each day, so there's a very good chance its movements will be the same tomorrow. The sun rises in one place, the east, travels across the sky and sets in another, the west. Rise is when an object seems to move up in the sky. The photo of the sun rising from the viewpoint of the space station is this photo seen here. Set is when an object seems to move down in the sky. The moon and stars also move down the sky in the same pattern as the sun. The sun makes the most beautiful sunsets, in my opinion. So class, today we learned the sun, moon, and stars all follow the same pattern. Their patterns can be predicted with the recurring cycle of day and night. The sun, moon, and stars rise in the east and set by dropping in the west. Here's another gorgeous photo of the beautiful patterns the stars make in the night sky.